Hey everyone, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you 10 fun facts about Hawaii. Number 10. Hawaii consists of 137 officially recognized islands, 129 of which are islets, rocks, coral reefs, and atolls, and 8 main islands. Oahu is home to Honolulu, Diamond Head, and Pearl Harbor. Maui is home to the world's largest dormant volcano, Haleakala, and one of the world's largest banyan trees. Hawaii is home to Kona Coffee and Kilauea. Kauai is home to Mount Waialeale, the wettest spot on Earth, with an average of 450 inches of rain annually and wild chickens. Molokai is home to the world's highest sea cliffs and the birthplace of Hula. Lanai was once home to the Dole Pineapple Plantation and now is almost entirely owned by the founder of Oracle. Niihau is privately owned and access to the island is very limited to protect the island and its inhabitants from the outside world. Nkaho Olawe was once used for target practice by the military but is now being restored and will strictly be used for Hawaiian cultural education. Number 9. Honolulu, located on Oahu, is not only the state capital, but also the birthplace of quite a few celebrities, including multi-talented Bette Midler, who starred in the Halloween classic Hocus Pocus and sang Wind Beneath My Wings, Jason Momoa, who played the intimidating Cal Drogo in Game of Thrones and the star of the Aquaman franchise, and Nicole Kidman. While she is an Australian actress famous for films such as Days of Thunder and Practical Magic, she was born in Honolulu while her parents were in the States on student visas. Number 8. Hawaiian hibiscus includes seven species of hibiscus that are native to Hawaii, but it is the beautiful yellow hibiscus that was named Hawaii's official state flower in 1988. Additionally, each of the eight major islands is represented by its own color and flower or other laymaking material. Hawaii Island is red and the Ohia Lehua. Maui is pink and the Lokelani Rose. Oahu is yellow and the Pua Ilima. Kauai is purple and the Mokihana Berry. Malokai is green and the Pua Kukui. Lanai is orange and the Kauna Oa. Niihau is white and pupu shells. And finally, Kahuulawe is gray and the Hina Hina. We interrupt this list to bring you the following reminder. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you won't miss a thing. Also, don't forget to check out our podcast, Greybeard's Jewels, A Step Into the Unknown available anywhere you'd like to listen. Thanks for your support! Number 7. Chocolate, Coffee, and Vanilla? Oh my! Not only does this sound like an amazing ice cream combination, but the only place in the U.S. you'll be able to find all three growing in one spot is Hawaii. The tropical climate and rich volcanic soil of the Big Island provides the ideal growing conditions for cacao trees, coffee plants, and vanilla orchid vines. Coffee grown in the Kona district on the slopes of Hulalai and Mauna Loa is coveted worldwide for its aromatic, extremely smooth, slightly sweet, and medium-bodied taste. Number 6. Iolani Palace is the only royal palace in the United States, as Hawaii was once an independent nation, first ruled by King Kamehameha I, who is revered for uniting the Hawaiian Islands in 1810 and is honored annually on June 11th. They were under royal rule by various kings for over a hundred years and last ruled by Queen Liliuokalani. The palace had electricity before Buckingham Palace and the White House, and it was the first in the world to have flushing toilets. Number 5. Hawaii only has two native mammals, the endangered Hawaiian hoary bat and the critically endangered monk seal. The Hawaiian monk seal can only be seen on the shores of Hawaii, and sadly there are only about 1,400 individuals remaining, but conservation and protection actions are being taken. It is known to native Hawaiians as Ilioholoika Uaua, meaning dog that runs in rough water. 
and its common name was inspired by the short hairs on its head that reminded people of monks. You will also likely see endangered sea turtles that come ashore to rest. Number 4. Do you love looking into the night sky to see the constellations and planets? Mauna Kea on Hawaii houses 13 telescopes ran by astrologers from 11 different countries. The Mauna Kea observatories are in the ideal location for optimal viewing as the atmosphere above the mountains is extremely dry and cloud-free, and there is minimal lighting from the city below, providing for a very dark sky. The collaboration of nonprofit independent institutions who have telescopes located here make Mauna Kea the most scientifically productive site for astronomy worldwide. Number 3. All the beaches in Hawaii are open to the public, save just a few that belong to the federal government. Throughout the different islands, you can find an array of beaches in a rainbow of colors, from white and gold to red, black, and even green sand. Some of the best surfing in the world can be found along the shores of Hawaii. You can even see a phenomenon known as a blowhole where water spurts high into the sky as the swells crash into the rocks below. Number 2. And speaking of blowholes, every winter Hawaii's warm shallow waters play host to thousands of humpback whales which travel here to breed, give birth, and raise their young. They start showing up in November and depart back to the waters of Alaska in April and May. These magnificent creatures are called kohala in Hawaiian and are quite important to their culture. Their annual pilgrimage is seen as a homecoming as they are born in Hawaiian waters, and some believe they are family guardians and they're treated with much respect. Number 1. Mount Kilauea, located on the southern part of the Big Island, is the state's youngest and most active volcano. Its name means spewing or much spreading in Hawaiian, and it's pretty accurate as the lava that flows from the volcano continually increases the size of the Big Island. During an eruption in 1959, the lava fountain gushed 1,900 feet in the air. The most current eruption began in 1983 and is still continuing today. Sometimes just a trickle, others a little more dramatic, as we saw in May of 2018. The summit caldera holds a lava lake known as Hale Mau Mau that is believed to be the home of the Hawaiian fire goddess Pele. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels. And don't forget the podcast. Bye!